VR in the margin. All right, so um, yeah, so this is the Oculus Rift. Yes, it is. Michael's wearing this presently. Um, what is Michael doing? Oh, hey, it's the monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, I know you love the monkey, so I had to get you to play this one first. Hmm. So is... how do I move around? Ah, uh, you don't. Oh. You just look around. Oh. Oh, oh god. It, it went red. That's not good. That's not good. Um, what is that little thing coming closer to you? Those things are coming closer to you. Oh my! Oh wow! It's a lighting thing. Okay, so. What oh, are... you are the monkey. Hey. <gasps> oh my goodness! That's cool. I thought that was a mirror. I'm like, what? Cool. And those things change the lighting scheme as they're absorbed into you. I realize now I should have got you to stand up. But hmm. don't worry about it too much. Ah, uh, you lost. That's, what? That's, uh, the, that's the end state of the game. You're supposed to eat them? Hungry? Yes. You're supposed to eat them, and if you miss three, then you lose. Oh, that's a oh, that's a cool game dynamic. So, I guess, so you're in this... Are you in, like, a closet? Are you a sim? There's a thing over the door. No, it's, it's a diamond. Diamond. Ah. Oh. What are you meant to do then? Eat the diamonds. How do you eat the diamond? You just let it come into your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> um. Um. Okay. Oh, this is actually really clever because it makes you turn your head and like really look around and get a feel for where things are coming from. Yeah. It's interesting how the um. Like the lighting works. You don't actually need to open your mouth, Michael. It feels better when you do. No, you, you do. Trust, trust oh, us. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> he says, what? Oh. Okay. Yep. Okay, you want to know the twist? Sorry? This is my game. Yay! Yay! Yeah, this is my computer graphics project for my computer graphics course at university. Look out! There's a diamond coming! Oh, uh, I killed you. Uh, yeah, it, 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 reeks of, it reeks of student project for a good reason. It's a student project. Where's, where's the fog? Oh, the fog I, is at the beginning. You missed it. I'll give you a go in a second. Oh, okay. And you, you'll That's see. cool. I think I heard about fog. Yeah, so Jake, um, how long have you been playing around with this? Um, I'd say it's probably taken me about 40 hours of work to put this together. From OpenGL, I'm not using any Unity or anything hmm. like that. It's um, all coded using OpenGL and Glue and Glot libraries. And this is the first kind of game you've tried to make yeah. in any system? Yeah. So the computer graphics course had several aims. One of the themes was including diamonds into the <laughs> thing. So um, the entire demo had diamonds in it, and then I had to add a gameplay mechanic. So I took my lecturer's suggestion hmm. in that he wanted to eat the diamonds because they were sort of in front of his face. So voila. <laughs> Oh, lovely. <laughs> voila, that's funny. Um, oh. and also, I, I rather like the monkey head thing. Because if you tilt your head left and right, Michael, Yeah. the monkey head tilts with you. How did you um, manage the mirror? The mirror is really simple. It's not even a proper reflection. Because like, you're stuck in <laughs> one place, right? Yeah, okay. you're stuck in one place. Um, but no, that's not even the problem. You just I'm just reflecting and re-rendering every object by reflecting across that plane. It's really not a very good reflection. What you usually do is do that, but then restrict where you're rendering, where you're drawing your graphics to a mirror. Oh, because in just, a mirror you wouldn't see everything. Yeah, so but what I've done rendered. is just left off a plane hmm. and not rendered it as part of the model, so it's just flipped everything over there. So okay. it's not as we'll do nice, one. but I didn't have time to do anything else. That's cool. Change that. It's a bit blurry in my right eye. Is it? Mm. Oh, I'll give it a... So I see there's a pipe, and originally you were talking about um like a pipe leakage, um like yeah I was thinking of putting particle effects of the pipe, like just having some kind of gas just... or water leakage. Yeah. yeah. Where is it? <laughs> okay, that's not a good idea. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Do you want yeah. to give Luke a look? Yeah, yeah, I want to play this again. game. I want to play this game so badly. And Michael, I had to include the mo I had to include the monkey to please you, because. <laughs> You need to do that. Yeah, it, it was oh. in my previous game. This is a sequel <laughs> to the other game that I made in Blender where the you jumping run around. monkey. Yeah, you run around as a monkey. That monkey in particular, the Blender monkey. Jumpy monkey. Oh. I'm fairly sure we're going to be getting a webcam of uh, 
Luke's arm. Luke's arm. Possibly crotch included. Um, oh, this is... I oh, know, you've tilted the screen. You might this be right. is fun. Yeah, yeah, I tried to... Um, oh, yeah, I didn't want to just get my crotch in the shot. Um, it's actually a surprisingly nice environment. Like, um, I will say, it's interesting, like, moving my head doesn't do anything. Yeah, there's no um, head dragging. It's uh, just orientation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Aww. I like um I like this structure. How did you manage that? Like, is uh, it supposed to be something? all the models are made in Blender, and then I exported them to object wave fi um files, um. and then wrote a custom importer to import them into my object structure. Okay. Is and there any um, like um systematic way how the light changes? Yes. Um. The light is white, usually. Yep. But oh. when you eat something correctly, it turns green. Oh, really? Oh, God. And when you don't get it correctly, it turns Sad red. Monkey. And when you miss three, it turns black. In a row? Or in three. You... Three overall. But they're all coming at you. How are you missing them? Well, face them. Uh, you got to face them. Uh, is there any sort of scoring mechanism? Yeah, there is, but it's all hidden. It's pretty simple. Like, so when you made time attack, right? You didn't actually yeah, make basically. the game in um, Blender. You made it in. No, I coded the game in using OpenGL with C plus plus. The language is C plus plus. OpenGL does all the graphics. Is that hard, like coding a game without actually seeing what's? It's actually surprisingly not too hard, and quite how satisfying. Do you, how, do you how do you position objects like? Because as you said, you're, you yeah, know, took so it as a separate. It, there's subtle ways to do it, but essentially if you want to draw a triangle in 3D space, you literally write down all the coordinates in the How's code. How's diamond sandwich and then going? Oh, it's Call fabulous. the draw triangle method, and it has like each each point corner of the triangle has uh, three three numbers associated with X, Y, Z. Oh. And then you draw a triangle, and then you can map textures to it. And Surely you can look at so textures. many diamonds like, inside the Large scale games. Yeah. Oh, when they do large scale games, how do they do that? Do they... So design you've map, tried it, haven't you? Like obviously they design maps in down, a three D model. Down, yeah. down. They do it in three D model and then they export it. So there's actually a lot of complex maths going on here with uh, matrix <coughs> matrix multiplication and things make it a lot easier to do lots of objects. So each of these objects isn't stored in global coordinates, so I'm not moving every triangle when I move an object. Mm -hmm. I'm moving the base position and the orientation matrix and then I can apply that to get to change coordinate systems between the global coordinate system and the coordinate system of the object. Is there any scheme for colouring the uh, diamonds? Is it just They're just random. And what is the actual sculpture you have there? It is a rock formation. What I did was I grabbed, grabbed like a sphere, oh, grabbed random vertices, um, mm -hmm. subdivided, exp extruded, wow, that one was quick. did some stuff with it, smoothed yeah. it down. Wow, they're getting quick. Can we, um, yeah, they are. So, because of the rock formation, can I say that, oh, is it right to say that this is actually set in a cave? Yes. Oh. Yeah, it's a cave-based indie game. Um. <laughs> oh, oh, no, I missed it. Um. I got, um. I love the, um, I have to actually look at the mirror just to um, know where they're coming from. I know, it turned out to be um. a really great mechanic, having oh, the my. mirror there. This is actually, oh my goodness, um. Um, um, um. They seem to <laughs> all be originating from. Uh, uh, well done. That was um, wow. Um, surprisingly fun. Yeah. When it got fast, it actually became like an actual <laughs> intense thing. Um, Peter, would you like to have a go? I suppose so. Okay. Oh, guess I'd better. Oh, I love it. I'm, I played a cave face in the game. I've got to say, like, watching it, I almost want, like, um, Hydra inclusion just so I can open up the closet. Oh, yeah. And just be like, oh, okay, there's... My original... I'm not being there. Yeah, my original intent was to include Hydra controls, hmm. but I never got around to it. Doing a one-man project is oh, not yeah. easy. Was, uh, there were a lot of, um, like, last-minute fixes to this thing. Yeah. Before submission dates. Very good. You know, Come to me. It's like the Simpsons thing. Da, 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 da. Oh, I should have put that music over this. Why? Uh, oh, that would have been beautiful. Actually, um, 
I mean, try, probably not something that's copyrighted. Oh. Wait, no, that would be that copyrighted. That would be copyrighted. Yeah. That would be fine. I mean, it doesn't even matter. It's a student project. I mean, yeah, just play it to a certain level of music. Oh, what I will say, like, me. it was so much fun when they were coming fast. Like, it felt like a game. Yeah. Before that, it was just, like, an experience of the thing. When they started becoming fast, it was like, oh my god, okay, yep, focus. I've got to do this, we've got to do this. Quick look. I, would, I think it'd work if, like, it sped up quicker like there's a tutorial yeah. couple of diamonds yeah that's that was my intention like to keep the tutorial couple but i didn't have much turn, time to tune it yeah properly so this is already handed in yeah it's just submitted already cool and um yeah music as far as times to when the diamonds reach your head would be really oh. cool oh that would be amazing that would be the only um thing i have to say is like how do they test it if they haven't got a uh i just demonstrated it to them so that's, that's all you need to do. Um, Aha! The, it's more about computer graphics than delivering an actual project that you can play. So, on that note, I'm afraid you can't actually download this because I don't have a clue how to port it. <laughs> like, it works on my computer, and if I, I could probably copy all the files and make a binary, but the oh, chances I'm are it's not going to work on anybody else's. Mm. So what is actually running it, then? It's running... As a binary? It's just using uh, OpenGL. I don't binaries. even eat that one! So what's a binary? Uh, it's just... Uh, uh, I'm yeah, it's <laughs> just getting file. bombarded by diamonds. Yeah, Peter's like... Peter's like a... A moon of some sort. Hey. Aww. And that was Hungry. By me. Actually, I just named it then. Done. I thought that was the actual name. No, I didn't. I, didn't. I haven't up. named it yet. The title of my project was Diamond I'm Eating Simulator, simulator. Yes. 2013. <laughs> Diamond Actually, Eating Simulator, yeah, that was it. <laughs> yeah. Hang on, why am I looking at myself now? Wasn't that behind? Oh, does it reset where you are? Oh, oh it there's, there's yeah. a problem with like, drift. it just, yeah, it drifts. Yeah, that's all. Oculus Drift. <laughs> oh, yeah. The new racing games. 